Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. So guys, I'm going to be feeding my adult scorpions today and the adults are in the larger enclosures on the right hand side and obviously as you know my Crassicorda female is on the left hand side so I'll be feeding her first with some super worms. So let's get started. So guys, my female Crassicorda is inside her hide so if I just get the flashlight and you can just see her relaxing there so here goes everyone hopefully she'll be hungry and take it down yep yeah, there we go a little bit of a fight with it beautiful female um Probably around about the three, three and a half inch mark. I was hoping she was going to monk very soon, but uh, I'm still waiting. They do have a little bit of trouble stinging these superworms, but unfortunately I've got no crickets left. But a beautiful species to have in the collection. Superworms always put up an amazing fight with the scorpion. But there's been no sting just yet. I think there was a sting there, guys. A bit difficult to see with the, the hide in the way, but look at that tail. Unbelievable. Beautiful scorpion. Not a scorpion you'd like to get stung by. These are a venom level 5, so always keep your hands out of the way. Use your tongues. So I think I'll leave her alone now, guys. And let's go on to the next one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is my hot and tutter Flavadullus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's try and get the Worm to stay on the hide. It's just easy to move the enclosure if the scorpion moves around a lot. And I think it's, yeah, it's let go of the super worm for some strange reason. It seemed interested, but uh, yeah, like I always say, guys, you can't really make scorpions eat if they don't want to so let's just pick up that superworm and put it closer inside the hide so guys i think it's best to leave her alone now uh, she's retreated back inside the hide and i don't really want to disturb her too much so what i'll do is i'll just fill up the uh, water dish uh, let's go on to the next one next up guys is my male parabuthus velocis orange morph That's a good thing about sand, guys. The superworms can't dig inside the sand, which is absolutely fantastic. Because it can get very annoying when you're actually feeding tarantulas with superworms. They love to burrow in the substrate. <laughs> beautiful scorpion. Fantastic colours and a beautiful tail. And I'll fill up that water dish up in a second hopefully we'll get a sting usually get like the Asian forest scorpions they usually use their claws to take down their prey because their claws are very very strong and thick these kind of species like to use their sting as well Parabuthus is about a venom level 4. Yeah, I don't know why scorpions do that. They always seem to dig their claws into the sand. 
I've never known why they do that. It's rather strange. But there's been no sting yet. But looks like he has started eating. And there we go, guys. He has started eating. No sting yet. Which is uh, a little bit unusual. has decided to start eating the head of the superman so we've got two scorpions that are hungry out of three which isn't too bad so i think i'll leave him alone now guys i'll fill up that water dish and uh let's go on to the next one Next up, guys, is my Lyrius Nazare. It's a scorpion that's very, very fussy with its food. Um, it's very similar to the Deathstalker. Can be very hit and miss with this one. I've had this one a couple of years now, and uh, it's gave me some absolute fantastic takedowns. Let's see here. Uh, it looks like it's decided to sort of grab the worm and then it it doesn't know what to do with it after, if you know what I mean. It's very um it's very strange. If I had a block of black cricket or a brown cricket, it'd probably just grab it and sting the hell out of it, you know what I mean? But uh yeah. I think with superworms they're they're not too sure what to do with it. be completely wrong <laughs> but uh, yeah beautiful scorpion definitely a female you can see how long and slender the claws are yeah it seems to try and grab it and then it just yeah just walks away you can uh, see that uh, beautiful tail but I'll um, yeah I'll grab the superworm and uh, try it again like you always say, scorpions are not that keen on the light. Yeah, see? Yeah, very strange scorpion. Well, but like I always say, guys, you can't make a meat if they don't want to. It's not up to you, it's up to them. But I'll... Just quickly fill that water dish, guys, while I'm here. Not much of a feeding video at the moment, but that's just the way it goes. And looks like it's too busy. Wants to take a drink, I think. So let's take the superworm out, and yeah, looks like it just wants a drink of water. I've had the scorpion now probably been here around about um, three years or so. It's just no. It looks like it's going back inside it. Oh no! It's having a, it's having a walk around. But uh, yeah, I'll leave the scorpion now, now guys, and uh, let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my Parabuthus transvelicus female. So let's just put a worm in. Hopefully we'll get an attack. We haven't got many in this video, I do apologise. No. Doesn't look like many of the scorpions are interested today, guys. We'll try once more. There goes. And there you go. <laughs> I 
So these scorpions haven't been fed for like three weeks and you give them some food and they're not interested. But as long as they've got water, they should be absolutely fine. Yeah, same again. It looks like it's going to grab it and then sting it and then it just decides to walk off. Yeah, same again. Look, see how it keeps digging its claws in the sand. Yeah, nothing unusual. But uh, yeah, she seems interested. But then she walks away. Oh, thought it was going to get a sting. Then guys, beautiful tail. Nice jet black scorpion. I think I'll leave that worm in just for 20 minutes or so and then if she hasn't uh, taken it down I'll take the worm out. So let's go on to the last one. So guys, last up is my Agazone. So let's just... Oh. Now I actually thought this one was a male because if you look at the claws... The claws are very, very thick, and they're not that long, but uh, my friend said they're at, it's actually a female, so. Are we going to get a stink? So, guys, I've just taken my phone off the tripod, and she goes... Further inside her burrow, or hide, I should say. I'm just trying to get some footage if she actually does sting the worm. Well, it looks like she started eating it, I think. She's having a good fight with it. But I think she's been a little bit short yet. I think there's a sting there and she decides to turn. <laughs> Typical. But uh, yeah, beautiful scorpion. I haven't had her long. I bought her this year. So I think I'll leave her alone now guys to enjoy a meal in peace and quiet. So I do apologise, there weren't many attacks in this video. And thanks for watching everyone.